crowd me. But a very important thing that we're witnessing is that what she's doing, the little one is doing. So just we, we're watching the learning process in action, almost in sync. I'm glad I'm not a cameraman. Okay, Brett. Nyala Road South, just east of the junction with Vulture's Nest on the short grass area has been dropped. Okay, copied. Um, I can't really move at the moment, I'm surrounded by at least Come in the Milwaukee. Okay, couple. And Brent is with his quarantine mail is up up a tree. And a beautiful sight and we just can't seem to get vehicle windy. Oh that's hard to choose. Brent uh wanting me to go over that way to, to see if we can't get to see. I guess we need to, but I've got these children right next to me and finally they're coming out into the open and what to do, what to do. All right, let's try. Maybe Brent will get a signal here with the alleys, we can swap around. I hate to leave. Uh, little ones are lying down now. They're going to have a game too, maybe. Got some strange lumps on its nose. Uh, and then those two look good. See, we've got so much around us right now. Two little ones interrupting. These two and one little one lying down. I'm hoping that the, as a child will climb on top of it.
So that little one is only maybe a couple of months. These three, there's three little ones. The one on the left may be getting on for about eight months. These others only about three, four months, maybe six at the most. And I really can't move anyway as much as I'd like to go and see the leopard. Elephants in front, elephants behind. Elephants to the left of me, elephants to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. It's got a few bumps on its nose, and I don't know what that is, unless they're little abscesses from maybe thorns that have... I'm trying to look closer, and it's certainly not hindering. That's only a couple of months that this little tuft of little brown hair all over it. Okay, I'm going to try and move forward a little bit. rubbing post that Scott was showing you how to how animals use the rubbing post. There's one baby elephant is at that rubbing post scratching a little bit. I 
uh, another one running, falling, tripping, grazing its knee. I doubt whether it grazed its knee though. They've got stronger skin than us humans. Truly amazing that we've been allowed to spend time with them like this. youngsters up there. Okay, sure, it's getting hot now. I need to remove a layer or two. Yeah, they're moving up now the road south. I'm pretty sure that as the day wears on and it starts getting warmer, they're going to be moving up towards Biffleshook Dam. For now, Sassel can't go either way. This road is blocked both ways by elephants. There again, we cut out. Okay. You can always come back to them. general consensus by the sounds of things is staying with elephant. I think one person has said go to the leopard. Would if I could. With a herd of elephant both sides of us. I'm not forcing elephants off the road at the moment. You see how tiny it is now. That little one is about the youngest of all, Lynn. And only a couple of months, if that. behind us, which you're seeing now, yet more, uh, another one tripping over its trunk. elephant or more coming in. Okay, well these alleys are not going anywhere. And I know everyone's saying stay with the elephant. They're moving a little bit forward north now. And they're not going to lose them. But I think what we're going to try is Try and get to Brent so that I can see where he is and if Brent comes here with the elephants we can always come back to him with the elephants. I know everybody is saying stay with the elephants, we are going to come back to the elephants. We're not very far away from them but if there's a chance that we can just see if Brent, I think he's also staying there so that other vehicles can, can come into oops, to see that leopard and he's out of courtesy. So if he, if I go there, Brent can come up this way, maybe, 